Uh, the topic of the gathering. Before we go to the gathering, do you have any other questions you wish to ask? The subject. No questions? They were asking a while ago about baptism. Okay. I think you go quick I'm baptism. Yes, yes, you can. Here, here, Francis. Here, here. Most of us here were baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh, but we assume that the Son there is Jesus Christ. I'm going to share two topics today original baptism and original <coughs> doctrine of the Godhead. First is baptism. We are all familiar with Matthew 23, 19, we read that about the Lord. Now, this is how Christ said it. Baptize them in the name. Is that singular or plural? Singular. So if it's singular, if you're gonna follow Christ's command, you have to mention singular. You must not mention three. Not even two. Next. Is the Father, the, 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 the word Father, Son, Holy Ghost, are these names or titles? Are these names or titles? Titles. These are titles. So, Yes, this is supposed to be a proper noun. And this is not a proper noun. This is a common noun. So, you are not supposed to repeat what Christ was saying. You're supposed to fulfill what Christ was commanding. What they're doing, they're essentially repeating the commandments of Christ. I'll give an example. Go to the store, uh, get one bottle of uh, soy sauce, but tell them it's credit uh, in the name of your mother. Goes to the store, uh, we wish to get one bottle of soy sauce, to whose credit? To your mother. Is that right? Yes. Just repeat it, what his mother said. No, he just mentioned the name of his mother. My mother, Concha, uh, uh, credited her. So that is how we fulfill. I'll give you another scripture. This is part of four Gospels. The other Gospels in Luke mentions a name. Luke chapter 23. Open it up, or 24. That's 50 or 24. Just check it out. It says there, Repentance and remission of sins should be done in His name. So there is <coughs> repentance and remission of sins. Yes. Repentance. Uh, let me check my uh, I can easily see it. Luke chapter 24, verse 47, right. Repentance and remission of sins. Now, mark the word remission. This will be mentioned in Acts 38. What is Acts 38? Acts 38 is the beginning of fulfilling the commission. You can open Acts 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, repentance, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. This beginning of? For the remission. Beginning of the what? Acts 22. Acts 24. Then Acts 2.38 is? Acts 2.38. Is the beginning of? 
Ano pinalit dyan? Pinalit? No, I'm showing the word remission. Redemption? The word remission is in Acts 38 and Luke 24, 47. Yes. In Luke 24, 47. Repentance and remission of sins. Beginning of the repentance. Be in His name. What do you say, done? Or preach? <coughs> when they preach, they baptize in the name. So, Mark, Mark doesn't focus on the rain. He that is baptized, like he that believes, and is baptized, shall be saved. Now, Mark doesn't focus on the rain. Matthew focuses on the rain. Luke focuses on the rain. John also mentions focus. Repent. Whosoever sees he remit. The word remit. John 20 20 Whosoever sees he remit, they are remitted there. Luke 24 47 Repentance and remission of sin. Which this name? Acts 38. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for, for the remission. Ano yung Tagalog ng remission? Uh, wala. Erase. Erase your sins. You want me to blast out your sins? Ano yung remit? Remit is. Ah, di ba? Nasaan yung remit pera? Yung remit, remitan sa pera? Kaya siya tinawag na remit. The reason we call remit sa telegraphic cancer is two banks have an agreement. They will just subtract it here. When you subtract it, delete it. Delete. Delete. Delete or erase. You erase an account here. Add to an account there. The word remit means some some account was erased. They transfer it because they just have communication of uh, that money moved here. Oh, we just erase it from there. So, yung kasalanan na erase. So, yes, erase is erase. In Tagalog Bible, which is translated as kapatawaran. Okay? Sino mong kasalanan patawarin mo, ay patatawarin sa kanila. How can the apostles forgive sin? How can the apostles remit sin? By fulfilling, one of them is fulfilling the commandment. They, you need someone to baptize you. You don't baptize yourself. So that's how the apostles initially was able to remit the sin. Did you know that Protestants interpret this verse much uh, erroneous than the Catholic Church? The Catholic Church interpret this verse as confessional. And, uh, but the, the priest would say, uh, say your prayers, uh, send Hail Marys, our fathers like that, and your sins are so. <coughs> but the prophets has interpret this verse because they know the Catholics are wrong. No one's supposed to know. Uh, no one's supposed to forgive sins. They interpret this. All this doesn't mean that your sins will be repeated by the apostles. This means uh, if you know how to forgive, you will be forgiven. They misinterpreted John twenty twenty. So ever since you remit, they remit to them. And they will be misinterpreted that way. As what Christ said, if you know how to forgive, you will be forgiven. That's our misinterpretation. The Catholics are not correct in this interpretation. But they got it wrong. It's not ten Hail Marys or five Our Father. It is... It starts with completion. You need the apostles to baptize. Acts 10.48 Acts 10.48 They were commanded to baptize after they received the message. After they received the Holy Ghost. In Acts 19 Someone, there were people not baptized in Jesus' name. They were commanded to rebaptize. Acts 19 verse 1 to 6 one to six. 
They were commanded to rebaptize. And this they were baptized before was wrong. Or if you were baptized before, did not have the name of Jesus. So you need to be rebaptized. Francis cannot baptize us because he is not minister. <laughs> A minister is not according to what the denominations think. The denominations interpret <coughs> a minister as having been ordained, coming out of their Bible school. But in the Bible, a minister is every believer ministering the word. Amen. Amen. So it's a radically different idea from the established churches. Amen. Today. The original Christianity, there is no Bible school or diploma that gives you certification that you are a uh, certified minister. It is God, Holy Ghost anointing that gives you the anointing to be a minister. So, let's answer the question of why. This is Peter, James, and Shatila, the apostles. Hindi naman sila nga nag-aral, di ba? They were in the school. They were fishermen. They were in the school of Jesus. In the school of the... Yes. They just learned it from scratch. You don't need to go into... Even, you know, even secular schooling. I told my church there. You don't need to bring your children to school. They will be poisoned by the influence in school. You can teach them at home. Home is school. You can graduate by examination. Amen, amen. How much more in our Bible schools, doctors of divinity? And what what do those doctors of divinity are teaching in those mega churches? Shallow doctrines. Yes. Shallow doctrines. The empty doctrines. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, brother Francis, just to uh, just to clear things up. During the times of uh, the Dark Ages, siempre. Nawala yung mga truths like that, di ba? They were uh, forbidden. They were not taught. So that means Christians were in hiding uh, most of the time. Until Luther found out that salvation pala is by grace through faith. Amen. Amen. Okay? Uh, so yun lang ang sinasabi nila nung panahon na yun. Yeah. Okay. So if that's the truth for that time, those who did that, accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior by faith, they are saved. They were saved. Yes. Okay, now, but now it's different. Yes. Now we are getting clearer in our time that those who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior should be baptized in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Baptize, so whatever baptize. age you are living in, God speaks, God's voice is calling out through the revelation of His Word. He brings forth messengers. They were used before. The Pentecostals were used before. The oneness Pentecostals were used before. Who are the oneness Pentecostals? They are the ones that received the restoration of baptism in Jesus' name. Yeah, Ten years ago, or uh, 15 years ago, when I was preaching uh, the gospel, yun lang yun ang sinasabi ko. Yeah. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and we will pray all together for the forgiveness of our sins, and we will be saved. Yes. But now that I have found out another truth, uh, uh, in addition to that truth, yes. that should have been the case now. Yes. We have to baptize those who accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior Amen. in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. So, an assumption lang ha? Kasi ano, I was baptized, ayun, no father and father. Pero, is the person baptizing you also believes in the Son so, okay lang yung baptism niyo noon. Basta natin, Acts 19. Acts 19. Acts 19, their previous baptism was accepted by God. But did you know in the Old Testament, baptism takes place hundreds of times, even thousands of times. Because it is purification. But this time, on the gospel account for John and Jesus Christ, it is for repentance. So it is one. But between John and Jesus, there is a progressive revelation. 
I'm going to show you two scriptures of this progressive revelation. One is, this is one scripture. I'm going to give you several scriptures. John 4, 1 and 2. Okay? Someone read John 4, 1 and 2. Someone read Acts 19. <coughs> Someone read Acts 18. Acts 19. The last John, verse. John 4, Acts 1 and 2. Acts 19, 1 to 6. And it came to pass that while Apollos was, was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus, and finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people, that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came upon them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. So, the baptism of John was valid for a time. Until the one whom he was spoken, uh, 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 spoken of came, and then baptism would change hands. Baptism would be in Jesus' name. So, the time of John, at the time of Paul, he met the disciples of John, and their their revelation was inadequate, and Paul thought a progressive revelation. And when they learned the progressive revelation, they got rebaptized. Let's read in reverse. 18, last verse. Read backwards. Ano 18? Chapter 18, Acts. Acts 8. Would you check, Mother Chris, uh, what verse uh, when Aquila Priscilla started sharing to Apollos? Or when Apollos was first introduced there, a mighty man of scripture. Verse 2. Verse 2? What 2? 18 2? 18 2. Okay, please read 18 2. And found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, lately come from Priscilla. Because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome and came unto them. And because he was of the same craft, he abode with them and wrought, for by their occupation they were tent makers. And he reasoned with the synagogue every Sabbath, and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. And when Silas and Timothy were come from Macedonia, Paul was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Jesus was Christ. And when they opposed themselves and blasphemed, he shut his reign. Chapter 24. Verse 24. 18, 24. Verse 24. Until 28. And a certain named Jew named Apollos, born in Alexandria, an eloquent man and mighty in the scripture, came to the episode. This man was instructed in the way of the Lord. So, and watch her. In the spirit, he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord, knowing only the baptism of, of John. John. He was preaching, knowing only the baptism of John. Okay. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue, whom when Achille and Priscilla had heard, they took him unto them and expounded unto him the way of God more perfectly. More perfectly. Underline that. More There's perfectly. progressive revelation in the vineyard of the Lord. Yes. In the ministry of God. And when he was disposed to pass into Achaia, the brethren wrote a probing the disciples to receive him, who, when he was come, helped them much which had believed through grace. For he mightily convinced the Jews, and that publicly, showing by the scriptures that Jesus was Christ. So Apollos got rebaptized, continue. <clears throat> a mighty man of scriptures, he humbled down, he rebaptized. He had himself rebaptized. What verse did you find? 28. He started with 28. So, who was Apollos taking to? 
an ordinary man and wife, husband and wife. This ordinary follower, disciple, member, taught a mighty man of scriptures. That's humility. That's a true minister of God. And he accepted, he got himself rebaptized. How important is baptism? An answer of a good conscience towards God. Now, let's look at John 4, 1 and 2. Before Christ ever died and resurrected, there was rebaptism. Because from one group to another, there was rebaptism. And when significant baptism? It is a sign of your repentance. It is an act of your repentance. But then, uh, you already repented in the in the sign of baptism. Why do you need to be baptized? Because accepted the because Lord God wanted Christ. it to be in Jesus' name. Colossians 3, 17 Whatsoever ye do, in word or in deed, do it all in the name of Jesus Christ. Because there's no other name. But your, your spirit is already uh, uh, no, uh, manifesting that. If the spirit indwells in you, you still, you, the more you want to be baptized in Jesus' name. In Acts chapter 10, the spirit came before baptism of water. The Spirit came down before the baptism of water, Ten. and they proceeded forth so yung, to be baptized in water. Uh, baptism is a public manifestation of your acceptance. Uh, but if, if you already accepted this, I mean, uh, in Spirit, Jesus Christ... That Spirit is in water. It is obedience. It is obedience. There's a commandment that Mark, Luke, Matthew, okay, ito, it's called obedience, Colossians 3.17. Christ said, what, whatsoever you ask my Father in my name, you should mention his name. You want to cast out devils, use his name. You want to thank him, use his name. If you don't use his name, the Father will not accept it. The Father will not accept it. Why does the Father insist? on using his son's name. Later, I'm going to explain it. But I'm answering it first. Why did he get baptized? First, okay, uh, the commandment. Why, 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 why is it part of the commandment to use the name of Jesus Christ? Why Father one he used? Let us go back to the background of baptism. Baptism mm. came off son. from the Levitical lover. You know the lover? Mm. In the temple, mm -hmm. the priest cleanses himself for uh, worshiping God. Uh, and they do that lots of times. Now, in the time of Christ, there was a pool built by Caiaphas or Anas to make money. Why? Because people really, as commanded by the Pharisees, had to cleanse themselves before they worship God. But isn't it strange that Muslims wash their face before they yes. pray to God? It's the same practice in the Middle East. It's the same practice. Now, let's go to the spiritual significance. So it has been a practice of the Sadducees, the Pharisees, the Essenes. When the Christians came over, they gave a type of this baptism to be identified to the death, burial, and resurrection. Romans 6. Yes, it's an identification mark. Now, God sees that. He don't need to have a lot of people. It's not for the sake of other people. There was the eunuch. The eunuch stopped. I believe the eunuch has been immersed in Jerusalem before when he was worshipping God. But when he met Philip, and Philip explained to him the fulfillment of the scriptures, the eunuch asked Philip, there's the water. Can I be baptized now? What prevents me to be baptized right now? Yes, no, none. Go in and be baptized. This significance is not like what the Pharisees said it's for doing, just to worship God. No. It's acceptance. You know, if you obey God, it's not just... Christ. Christ. Command. 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 Yes. Obeying the command. Yes. 
let's say you are going to comment, but you still it, understand. Later on, you will understand it. it. This is one of the significance that you have resurrection. First Peter chapter 3 verse 18, uh, 20, the answer of a good conscience towards God and many others. Uh, uh, Let me finish one second. But this is not just the only command, but it's the beginning of all. Okay. Uh, I already started uh, looking to the the real name of Jesus is not a real name. If you go back to the other part, no, no, you're okay, talking of pronunciation. Yeah, and the Yeshua. Because the Jesus, sabi na there's no other name. It should yes. be the name. It could never be changed into the. And now we are beginning to uh, use the word Yeshua. If uh, if that's the right name. You should call the right no, name. And we were talking about the name. the name. Kasi sinundan ko yung... Yes, yes. I'm Kung mali itong Yeshua, Jesus na to, I have a friend, a Jewish friend. How they call that name. Kung sabihin mo na... Another topic yan. Another yeah, topic. Kaya nga, I'm a Jewish friend. But I will answer that. Yeah, I will encounter that. Uh, There's deception there. You I'm going to show this. You should call the right name. In the... <coughs> Wawa, ako chari, hindi ko very translate yung pangalan ko na... I should, I wanted to be called my right name. Okay. So ngayon, I will talk to that uh, subject later. We are talking about the name. We should use, why don't we use the right name? Kasi wala naman sa translation ng iniba-iba nila ng translation. Uh, shortcut lang. I'll answer shortcut before I continue. Kasi ano, I mean, uh, translation is not name. We misuse the word name to mean a translation or a different, or a language. Later, we're going to talk about that. I'm going to show how those messianics deceive people. They deceive people. They're no different than the Jehovah's Witnesses. They're much worse than the Jehovah's Witnesses. No, no, just, just the name. And I'm going to show you. Yes, it's good for you to raise it up because there's deception in them. And later, I'm going to show. You know, they split our church there. Not, so we're, we're, we're welcoming them. We treat them with respect. But they, in, they planted hatred in our various to split them apart. Oh, so they will not be sent anymore. No, no, yes, 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 yes. That is, it's Greek or it's not Greek. I will go there. I will go there. Uh, I'm going to finish this. Okay? So, yeah. I mean, to me, if you are really talking about me, it's very important. You should the right name. The right name. Yes. The right name. In, in the yes. way the, the apostolic, the apostolic yes. use the name. Yes. The right name does not mean of God. Does, the right name does not mean as a particular language or a particular pronunciation. I'm gonna show you later. Okay? I'm gonna finish this. The name of the Father, God, is Jehovah. And Jesus is a compound of Jehovah our Savior. So the name of the Father is given to the Son. Later, uh, actually we're stated for the Godhead, I'm going to inject a little bit of the Godhead. The Son has no power of Himself except the path that what the Father has given Him. So, in regards to the name, even the name is not His own. It's the name of God the Father. Just that God did not reveal Himself directly in that name. He wanted His Son to reveal that name. Okay. It is the star who was assigned by God to reveal the name. Now, I'm going to detour a little bit on Greek and Hebrew names. First of all, the deception of the Messianics. Of course, in Greek and Hebrew, this is And Hebrew, this is just one of the uh, possible transliterations because there are different Jews splitting up in different countries. Sometimes they pronounce ye, ya, yo, you. Okay? Now, this could be both I, this could be me. So, we should not limit ourselves. If someone insists, oh, this is the right pronunciation. First, <coughs> to refute their drive, the name 